Hello, thank you for joining me, Tootsie, here at Snake Lady Tarot. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. I'm going to do your general energy reading. We are going to take a look at feminine versus masculine energy. So stay tuned. I will give you some insight on your relationship and any potential relationships or new connections that you'll be making over the next few days or so. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Don't force the energy, don't force the square into a circle. All right, um, this is an all signs read. So if you are here, this was meant for you. You were meant to hear this in some way, shape or form. Maybe a particular card, maybe a whole section, maybe the reading in its entirety all together. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, follow, whether we're on Rumble, YouTube, or Twitch as well now. So thank you for your support, you guys. Like, follow, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Overall energy, seven swords, ace swords, strength, two of cups. I will say as far as our pre-shuffle, I hope you tuned into the pre-shuffle. What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? All right, so coming into your reading, you're starting off with understanding, are you meeting your expectations? So there's some self-awareness, some situational awareness, some relationship awareness here. Are you bringing to the table what you're expecting them to bring to the table? You're getting an opportunity to learn something, to strengthen yourself, to strengthen your beliefs, to strengthen your security with yourself, who you are, what you can accomplish, what's, what's coming off as impossible. I will say because of the divine masculine energy, they're absolutely leading you to a more peaceful, a more pleasurable life. This is strengthening you as an individual, but also the relationship here with Two of Cups. Now you're coming into this as equal partners, um, or at least you're able to uphold what you were lacking previously. It's not weight on your partner. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. They're coming in to show you. They're coming in to protect you, to provide to you. They're coming in to show you, to lead you. Let's take a look. Let's break this down for you. Let's take a look at the Divine Masculine. Messages, advice for you today. What do you need to know? Messages, advice for you today. Show me the Divine Masculine. What is the energy we're dealing with at this time? The Tower. Queen of Swords. The Divine Masculine, they're coming from a place of brokenness. So this is where their experience comes into play. They've been, they've been in a place where things were constantly falling apart, where they were having to start over, where, where beginning from scratch was becoming the norm. Um, so they've built up a tolerance to this. They've, they've built a tolerance, but they've also built a wall to this. Um, this is solidifying their masculine energy this is what gives them strength and it it, it sort of lights the fire in them it, it it allows them to be protective it allows them to defend you i feel like they're coming in here this is like a fatherly role this may not be relationship wise this could for some of you be family, friends, neighbors, colleagues situation where you found a individual who presents strong masculine energy. Um, almost the sense that they look at you like a wounded 
warrior of a sense, damsel in distress. You need the guidance. You need this information. Um, they don't want to see you continue with this negative, dishonest, um, false type of a life mission. It's like you're you're walking strong, but you're you're walking down a path, and you have no idea the dangers down there. Um, I feel like this person is shedding a light on some, perhaps some of your behavior, some of your traits that you've been guiding yourself with moving forward. All right. Um, all right. Let's take a look at the feminine energy and then we will clarify the messages, advice for you. Show me the divine feminine energy here. feel like uh, this person is coming in wanting to take care, wanting to give care, wanting to give love. The Magician, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. As the Divine Feminine, You're learning more about your own magic. You're learning more about your own power, what you can create. Um, again, what expectations do you have that are impossible to meet here? Now, <laughs> I want to be careful how I choose my words here because I'm feeling like this is a blessing. This this connection of you two coming together is is truly divine. All right, this person is coming in with open arms, yet with their sword up. See, they're protecting themselves, but they're still wanting to come forward to teach you, to guide you, to protect you. You're coming from a place of knowing your magic, knowing what you can bring to the table, but you're also open minded, open hearted and ready to accept this as a blessing, as a gift. This is going to fill your cup. This is going to allow you to push forward with more love and allow you to to feed this to others. It's almost an instance of paying it forward. All right. Um, it's it's starting a trend in your life and you're going to have more love to give. You're going to have more empathy, more sympathy for those around you. Um, not only is this person coming in as a guiding light, they're handing you the light so that you can guide others. This is building soul family. This is building community. And this is building more strong shoulders to lean on. It's, it's very much a pay it forward type of an energy here. And I love this for you right now. All right. Show me the connection between the two. Maybe you're a little, it could have been a little apprehensive at first, but I do feel you're, you're very open to this. Maybe your guard is up. Maybe you're a little cautious, but you're still willing. You're still moving forward. You're still going to put your hand out. You're both coming from broken heart, grief, pain. Sorry, too much. Let's go ahead and clarify. Grief and pain. Three of swords. Three of pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Ten of swords. You're both coming from heartache. You're both coming from collaboration. So you have the experience of working with people before this person this you're not the first connection they've made you're not the first relationship again this person is coming from a place of having to start over quite frequently um this is just another new beginning to them another cycle but for you this is another collaboration this is the final collaboration because you you refuse to end up stabbed in the back. You refuse to end up with the short end of the stick here. Six of swords. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Six of Swords. Together you're moving towards calmer waters. Away from fighting, away from debates, arguing, discord, disconnect, disagreements. And you are becoming the wounded warrior now. Again, paying it forward. You're starting off with the divine masculine, having a new beginning, having to start from scratch again, building themselves up. They're being protective. They're being cautious. Their walls are up, but they're willing to protect, provide, and defend you. Coming from broken heart, hearts, the both of you, coming from grief, coming from pain, you're both wanting to move towards calmer waters. You're in the energy now of wanting to collaborate and work together as partners because you're coming from a place of fighting. Um, you're coming from constant battle. Someone who isn't a partner, someone who doesn't work well with you, someone who fights you every step of the way. Well, why? Well, how? That's not going to work. Someone very pessimistic, not optimistic here. You're, you're coming together to protect each other, to provide for each other. Well, I'm loving this for you. Let's get some time on the table. If you have a question about time. Fire, water, air, earth. Messages about time. Let's be specific here. Messages, advice for you. What do you need to know about time? When does this connection happen? When do you realize that your expectations were impossible to meet. Seven, Saturday, search for joy, stay agile. All right, stay agile. Meaningful coincidences, energy cleanse, twin flame energy. You two will come together in a sense. This person will be your mirror energy if you watch the pre-shuffle. This person is guiding you towards happiness, towards pleasure, towards peace. This person wants peace for you. This person wants peace for themselves, but they want you to find it as well. I'd say this is a very endearing connection. This is either a completely deep love, a committed love that's going to flourish into a long-term um, relationship, or this is the sense of um, like a fatherly figure looking out for you as well. Let's get some love and light for you, messages, advice, love and light. light for you messages advice what do you need to know blessings of innocence and purity god blesses those whose hearts are pure for they will see god matthew 5 8 yeah allow yourself to stay pure there is no need to fight and argue you are being blessed with someone who is able to shield you from this um it will allow you to stay pure it will allow you to keep your heart open it is a meaningful coincidence um you two coming together perhaps you can tell that this was divinely guided you you found each other at the right time um in the right place it's not that one is damaged and one is not it's just that one has the experience and the foresight to guide you um down a more peaceful road is what is really what it is. You're just being guided down a more peaceful road here. And let me give you some, a little bit of your own magic. All right, so you can be your own magic here since I have you with the magician. 
you understand your magic, you understand your power, you understand what you're able to create. Um, this is going to change your expectations. Whether this person's advising you on your on the friends you keep, right? Sundress, do it for you. I feel like they're 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 helping you for you, but they're helping you for themselves. And you're accepting this for you, but you're you're accepting the love from them as well. Um, it's truly a yin and yang type of experience for you. You see, she has maybe some skin issues here, and it's okay. Put that sundress on. Shine. Let your skin show. Let them see your flaws. Let them, let them accept you for who you are. This person is clearly accepting you for who you are. They're wanting you to see that you're walking down a wrong path. They're wanting you to regain your strength, regain your energy, and they're wanting you to come back to them with a full cup. So you can, cheers, come together. So I'm loving this for you today. Um, stay tuned. I would love to do the lovers for you. For some of you, this is a lovers reading. Some of you, this may be friends, colleagues, neighbors, you know, family as well, wanting to protect you and guide you moving forward. Perhaps they have some advice for you with some experiences you're dealing with. Um, I would advise open up to that information, open up to their point of view. It will provide clarity. It will provide peace. It will allow you an open space to receive pleasure, um, whether that's with peace of mind or a, like, a, like a desire, a passion um, that you'll be open to receiving. It's going to open a door for you. It's going to allow abundance in. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. Thank you guys for being here. Like the video, share, subscribe, follow, hit the notifications button and you won't miss out on any future readings. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to know. And um, good luck with everything, you guys. Blessed be.